One day, you come home, because y'all making six figures a piece. That's some change, that is. You come home, you see your little child out there playing, running in that big old mansion in the front yard with the five bedrooms and the 20 bedrooms and the 12 bathrooms. 15 and a half. Y'all hear that? And that's good. He pulled up in the Lamborghini, what about it? Rover. Rover. Pulled up in the dolly, see the little boy running up out there. Boy runs to the car. <laughs> Jump up on the road and he ride around the big front yard, look like a race car front yard, just driving around, playing with his son, having fun. And the wife standing up there. <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> and have you? That's the way, that's the idea of family, you just having fun. <laughs> and that child is playing and then you get out there rover, get the briefcase going on up to the house. Child staying out in the yard and having fun. And the child runs out there, zips up and falls on the rake that was in the yard and it cut his throat. What? <laughs> baby cut his throat. First thing that you want to do is the baby to get some what? Yeah. ASAP. Help ASAP because you want your baby to be what? You want your baby to be saved, and you want somebody to get there and help that baby right then. Daddy come running out the house, his son out there bleeding. Because he had, in his mind, that boy going to be the future football player, football star, whatever. And mama up there, she done passed out because she see all the blood. <laughs> so what daddy do now? First thing you do, 911. But the hospital is like a block away from your house. But the first thing you do, you call ahead. Because you need somebody, you need to tell you what to do because he's bleeding. And you holding your child's neck, holding the blood in. And he, the baby eyes trying to go up in his head and you trying to tell your baby to what? Yeah. Hold on, he's about five, four or five years old. You telling your baby to what? Okay. Hold on, baby. Don't, don't go nowhere. <laughs> don't go nowhere. See, some of y'all don't understand this right now. You telling your child to hold on because you want your baby. Right? So you say, I can't wait for the ambulance to get here, but you done already called that hospital. So you jumped over in the road and got on in there and got the baby, the mama jumped in there, she doing what? Ooh. Screaming and hollering and crying because of her baby. You 35 years old, everything's supposed to be all right, but you gotta save your child now. You run in that hospital and you had that thing wide open, going three, four blocks, getting down the street, ambulance going, coming towards your house, you going to the hospital. You whoop up in there, you jump out, your, your clothes bloody because you just got off work. You didn't care nothing about your clothes. You just cared about your what? Boy got that pretty hair, eyes, just, just make you just, just smile every time you look at him. You running him up there and them doctors come because you are ready to call them doctors come running out of there and they take him from you. And what you do after you give him your baby? What you gonna say to the doctor? What do you say to your doctor? We being real now. Save my baby, help my baby. Please, and mama, what you saying? Don't let Please die. don't let my baby work. Yeah. And them doctors are trained to do what? Save, Save, Save lives. lives, right? So them doctors jump right in on it. That baby bleeding, they start doing stuff to him, running in the building, running in there. And that baby, and you, you can't go in there with it. You want to go in there, but they won't let you in, right? So what do you do? Pray. Stand out there doing what? Pray. What they call it, bro? Pacing. Every time a doctor come running out there, you thinking he better come and talk to you. You doing, looking. And then all of a sudden that doctor come, because that doctor got the same blood you got on you, and you come out, you holding your wife, and he walking slow, putting them gloves off his hand. In your mind, what are you thinking? Huh? He dead. Baby dead. But what he did, what he walking, he walking to find both of you all together, to tell you all that we saved your baby. Lost a lot of blood. Lost a lot of blood. But he gonna have some problems. But he gonna grow out of it. And it was good that you brought the baby on because if you had held him a little while longer, your baby probably wouldn't have made it because he lost a lot of blood. And he said, you take care of that baby. And the first thing you say, yes sir, and you reach out you shake his hand, thank you. And then he turned and he reached back and grabbed your hand again. He said, you don't even remember me, do you? 
I'm that guy that y'all beat down when I was in high school. But you take care of your baby though. And then he walk on off back to doing what he's supposed to do. The moral of the story is, you never know who you're hurting today. Because you may see them same people tomorrow. Y'all remember that? I got to go.